Hello guys, Tignesh Jain here. Today I am going to show you how to flash the latest stable version for OnePlus 7 Pro. Yes, this is on beta right to right now. I will show you how to flash step by step. This video would be a bit of longer. So stay tuned if you want to know how to flash this. For your information, I am going to flash this via TWRP and not via the normal system update. If you want to do the normal system update, you can directly go into this. Select system. Select system update. And you can download the update directly from here or you can also uh, keep it in your uh, root of the storage and select settings from here and select this local upgrade. So you can directly flash this from here also. But in case if you want to flash it via TWRP, stay tuned with this. So you can see it's Oxygen OS OnePlus 7 Pro O2 Beta 2 version. And if you want to get some more information, and if you want to get some more information about this, you can also see from here about phone. You can see it's OnePlus 7 Pro Beta version 2. Okay, so for going uh, for uh, flashing, first I need to disable all the subsystem theme which has been activated. So I'll go to the subsystem live. I need to download the file, which is the link is in the description. So for that, I'll need to root into the recovery. So let's boot to the recovery. So it's booting to the recovery right now. I need to install my password here. This is the phone password itself, nothing special. So it's we skipped it successfully right now. Okay, so I'll just need to locate that file which has been downloaded. So it's here. I need to just flash this file. So it's flashing right now, as you can see, the details are here. I'll just skip uh, or I'll just forward, fast forward the video for you all. Hey guys, it has taken 5 minutes to complete this step. Also in case if it gets stuck for more than 5 minutes, you can just take a screenshot with your buttons and uh, after taking the screenshot, it would just complete it. So that's a tip. You have to take this screenshot uh, with your power down and uh, sorry power button and volume down button. So it would just complete the details. Okay. After flashing this, you need to flash Magisk also and most importantly TWRP. So I'll go to SD card and flash TWRP. This should be latest TWRP. You can check the version here. So just flash this. So it would flash boot image patcher on both slot A and B. That's very important. If you miss this step, you will not have root. If you don't want root, you can just proceed further and install the... Uh, you can just go to reboot the phone. There would be no issues. But in case if you need root, you need to flash this. So this has been done. Now I need to flash Magisk also. That's also an important part here. So I'll go with this Magisk 19.4 version. Another thing which you should know that I already have some patches installed. Magisk patches and modules have been already been installed in this system. I was using it as you have seen that subsystem was working correctly. So on the first boot itself, I think that Magisk will be working right now. There would be no issues with it. After everything is completed, wipe the cache. Okay, it's been done. Now go ahead and reboot the system. So it would take around uh, two to five minutes. Let's see. So yeah, we have the let's see if it goes to the yeah. So it has come to the boot animation. I think it would take five minutes. I'll just fast forward the video. Hello guys. So you can see it has been booted. It took me less than five minutes. It took less than five minutes for booting up. Now let's go and check whether the route is working or not. So yeah. The, it's showing that magic is not installed. No issues with that. We'll just go into the recovery again. As you can see, I'm going to the recovery again and install the magic once again. 
and I'm sure it would be booting uh, with the magic ones again. So let's put into the recovery. Just note down the recovery version, that's important. You should have this recovery itself. Higher version would do, but lower version won't be working. So, yeah, let's go ahead. So, as you can see, it's just discrepant the TWRB. Many people were saying that they don't have this, uh, that uh, this doesn't work. See, the after descripting the data is working correctly here as you can see so i have flashed the magisk once again so the current boot slot is a as you can see here So I'll just again wipe the Delvi caches and I'll select reboot system. Let's see. So as you can see it has just booted up once again and now we'll just check. As you can see it's working right now. Just there is an update. So I'll update it later on. And now you can see modules are working or not. So I have all this module already installed. So every module is working. In case if you want to download some new module, you can also download that also. And just to check that route is working, we can use the substratum theme once again. I already had themed. So I can use this theme afterwards. Ah. More than that, just check the version. So, as you can see, it's Android 10 Oxygen OS version. There is no beta right now. So it's, so it's confirmed that it's a stable version link would be in the description and i have updated to the latest version um let's do something more let's check the light version also for this so we can be sure that substratum is working right now so i have come across this flare theme which is everything working for substratum 10 so you have to select the oxygen os pi version select everything just install the selected thing as you can see it's installing correctly I know this video would be a bit of uh, larger size but be sure you will have everything working so I'm making it this way so some of the features are not themed yet no issues with that I'll just go and reboot the phone so I'll select restart. So guys, it's here once again after rebooting the phone. Let's check. See, the super user rights have been granted. And the theme has been selected. You can see. It's working great. So that's it guys. I know the video is a bit on the longer side. But this would solve your every problem, every issue, every question which you had all had. So I hope you like this video. In case if you like this video, just hit the like button, share and subscribe. Thank you.